Oh, that would be over at the farm side of you. We just got back from uh, the Gwen and everything. The tram or uh, shuttles are bringing us over. There's the state patrols got us set up. They got several slide outs on their command center for the high state patrol. She has a little mini donut machine. She's working. She's making the donuts. Smells good. I don't know where the holes go. Where She's got the batter, a little paddle wheel. Sawing them as fast as they're making them. Keep a machine running. Is this another machine? Here's another machine. Heating up. Made in Champlain, Minnesota. And then the other girl's putting the sugar on them. Ah. So we're on the end towards Route 38. And been here going on three hours. This is the maintenance shed for the grounds. There's two of them. This one's a smaller. That's good. There's actually houses here. People live here year-round from the university. This is a cool-looking display. Missing the water, which um, my one camera quit. Uh, ran out of room. I'm having great luck with these batteries. He's uh, got a pretty nice demonstration here, chemical spray. Uh, alumni from the university, I think. Oh, uh, the 4-H alumni. So that would include a lot of people. There's a street ride car over yonder. A lot of women here. People of all walks of life. A lot of this kind of thing, an educational setup. There's an airport next door. The cute little shoe cup. They make bins and they have these little information booths. But this looks like a restoration uh, place. I've seen these guys before. This tractor's Mark and Marion. But I'm thinking these are the guys that put the front wheel drive on these. But that's not live. Yes, it is. The hydraulic going out here. What's it doing? Yeah, it's. That's more than steering. That's that front wheel assist. They put on um, a modify them. Does it show up? But they're like brand new tractors, and you can take them in and they'll restore them. And and they really know what they're doing. I mean. They've been there and done that. That's what you want to do that stuff on your own. I that. anyway. This is more of a livestock on this end here. And I'm going clear to the extreme south and I'm gonna walk east. That looks like a jet engine on a skid. Buffalo turbine hydraulic. And they're putting air through the barns with those jet engines. A solar on a trailer. A feed grinder. Continental Rubber Company building the tracks. I think they're actually um, into the energy. Another energy thing. So they've got a lot of different names on here for a lot of different tracks. And so... There's a larger merger and acquisition going on here. But they just wad those tracks up into a ball. This would be for a skid steer. For one side. But yeah, Continental's into that pretty heavily. See everyone's they got their arms crossed. It. People, they were wanting me to talk to them back there been here two days so they're demonstrating quite a bit of stuff here I don't know, is that like a 5k turbine there that you would put on your farm have you a little wind farm 
pretty cool stuff in the feeding of animals and livestock over here. Different ideas to get the job done. This is um, about water purification big time. He's talking about sap from trees. H2O innovation. Maple syrup. And there's a membrane filters and evaporators. So some extensive uh, commercial syrup production right there with the stainless steel. This guy's in the fuel distribution. That's a cool little pump there, a portable one. Hi. Right. So he's got a trailer that kind of folds out on the side and even the back like a toy hauler. And uh, they just take that to the show and set it up. And, um, you know, quality fuel distribution. Some more energy related over here. And this is a wind uh, solar farm. And it could be in the state of New York or somewhere from the trees looking. Some wild looking photovoltaic. Uh, okay, it's on the roof of a building. That's what it is. Paradise Energy Solutions. So he's got it right there at his farm. Show cattle. Club calves. Uh, should be running into more of that. Look at this big rope this guy's got. This for a ship shipyard. That's a big rope. Bungee cords. Uh, gloves. Seven dollar a pair of gloves, five dollar a pair. Some more fuel distribution. Made in Pittsburgh. Where the steel was poured in Pittsburgh anyway. Farm toys. And more gloves. Farm toys that are look like your farm even. And the flagpole guy, you think? Yeah, I think so. They're from Chicago. The telescopic flagpole. They sell good too. They're about a hundred bucks a piece. People are happy with them. Some nice looking hay there. Wow. Use her to wrap your round bales on the three-point hitch here. It's pretty fun to watch him operate. Yeah, I don't have any friends over on this road anymore. They're all gone. Uh, the uh, show cattle over here and their short horn, which uh, they're beautiful show cattle over there. This guy is selling truck beds for some reason. Running a junkyard, I think. Brand new takeoffs. And then I would suppose you'd have a lot more than just the bed. You'd have the seats and the wheels. Brand new takeoffs. There's a fence post made out of plastic over there. So that they're never going to rot or, or uh, anything like that. Fencing, a lot of fencing stuff here. Elect electrified fence and feeders and waters. 
and then there's a whole business in the show equipment because you're gonna need with a horse you're gonna need a hat and all your clothing the shampoo for the animals the I mean extensive equipment needs for the, the show animals uh, nice LED light thing going on over here uh, electrical and show lights you know uh, anything to give you that edge and give you the wind so yeah do you think we've seen any wood processors yet but this is the time for the moms so beautiful moms so a uh, pretty nice display here I like this that is cool A lot of work there too and is that a Ford trailer I think it is forages for profit and thanks for watching my videos everyone Bogart up here cruising the farm science review